that's the plan anyways already ladies and gentlemen i told you i would show you a little bit on what the truck looks like let's take a look she's looking pretty good i would say yeah i think they did a fantastic job in uh washing the truck off i think they did fantastic so let's get out of here we just finished having a shower and a bite to eat now it's time to get out of here so let's put the hammer down well here we are we just got back onto the uh, toll highway i-80 we are on i-80 now that's right and not far from here i think a little further down the road but not too far from here lives a subscriber of ours yeah and uh, you are going to get a shout out today i hope you don't mind ruthie fry lives up here in this area i think it's a little further down the road where she lives but uh yeah, she lives up here in this area. I would love to meet up with her. Only problem is I'm a little tight on schedule uh, with this load. So I can't really stop for too long. I already wasted an hour up there in uh, Gary because I needed to take a shower. <clears throat> so unfortunately I'm not able to meet with you this time, but uh, one day, one day we're going to make it happen, I guarantee that. That's right. But yeah, it's uh, looking like a good, beautiful day out here. Stop drizzling here now. It was drizzling earlier. And now it's no longer drizzling. We got about 411 miles to go where our final destination is for tonight. At least that's our plan. We plan to get down to uh, Harbor Creek, uh, Harbor Creek, Pennsylvania. That is our plan. That's where we plan on making it down to. As of right now, anyways see if that will actually happen but uh, I know it's gonna be a little late when we get there but uh, well not super super late but uh, Ram Magnelli says right now at quarter after eight we should get there so like 410 miles to go so uh, so yeah we will uh, put the hammer down we'll try not to waste any more time here so that way we can uh, make it as close as possible with our delivery that we can, you know? Yeah, we're supposed to be at uh, in Tandawanda tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Which I know already it's not going to happen, but uh, I'm going to try very hard to get it as close as I possibly can. And, uh, yeah. That's the goal. I don't think if I leave here, well, if I get there at that 8.30 tonight or 8.15, that means I can only leave at 6.30 tomorrow morning. And I, I think it's about 100 miles from there to where I got a delivery yet. So I got another hour and three quarters to go yet to do my delivery. So you know uh, I'm going to be there around 8.15 to 8.30ish. I might be half an hour late, but uh, that should be all right. I know this is not a load where uh, it's super important to be there right on time. So we're not going to worry about it too much, but I still like to get there on time when dispatch schedules a load and tells us that we got to be there at that, and that time. I still like to be there as close as I could, but, uh, yeah, well, we'll see what happens anyways. I'm hoping they'll give me a reload here pretty soon. Still haven't gotten no reload info yet, so 
I have no idea what exactly we're going to be doing. But that's alright. So long as we get us a reload by tomorrow morning, right? Or as soon as we get there. That's all we need, right? That's what I would say. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this truck, I don't know what's wrong with him. But this is the third time he's done this to me today. He'll go around me, he'll pass me, and then two minutes later he'll slow right down. And I'll pass him, I'll speed up, I'll pass him, I'll get back onto my cruise, and two minutes later he's passing me again. I don't know what he's doing. I, I mean, if I, I'm, I'm going on cruise, I'm not sure what he's on because uh, I'm catching up to him every couple of minutes, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully this time he'll keep her at a good speed there and we won't have to uh, get around them again, but uh, some drivers some days, you know, like... I don't get it why he, why he slows down. Like if he wants to go faster than me, then at least keep it at that speed. Don't slow down because I'm just cruising. I mean, I'm set, I got my uh, cruise set at 63 mile an hour, and then you know I'm catching up with him again. Like that doesn't make no sense. But anyways, that's the way it goes out here sometimes. Sometimes you get some of these drivers. They don't want to be behind a Canadian driver, and they think they gotta go faster. whatever that's the way it is I'm not going to speed up here now because I want him to uh, get him a good distance here so I don't catch up with him uh, anymore but the Sun has finally come out as you guys can probably tell beautiful sunshine now this fog and drizzle and all that has all disappeared now well, that's fantastic news oh yeah but anyways I just have to show you that a little bit there that driver playing playing around with me today here we are again guys and gals this is that same truck that I was telling you about earlier he did keep her for a good while at a, at a bit of a faster pace but here I am I catch up with him again and I'm just cruising at 63 mile an hour Here's the game again. I bet you before you know it, you'll be passing me again. <laughs> That's just funny, you know? Like, I mean, I'm keeping my cruise and he passing me three times already. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, figured I would show you that truck a little bit. But yeah, we are doing some good times. We only got about... Yeah, 288 miles to go yet, and then we'll be at our final destination for tonight. Oh yeah! Been listening to Sirius XM Radio. Program uh, that Dr. Laura creates. I like her, uh, her program, you know. It's fun listening to uh, people calling in and talking about all kinds of family issues and stuff like that so it's kind of interesting for me and sometimes it helps me too you know guide me through certain situations maybe you know but anyways we're cruising along here and enjoying the beautiful sunshine guess what ladies and gentlemen we are about to enter Ohio 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 that's right here we go. Welcome to Ohio. Yeah, we got about 150 miles before we'll be in Cleveland, Ohio. And that's where we're going to start heading towards Buffalo, I guess. Right now, we're pretty much just going straight east. And then we'll be starting to head northeast, I guess. Some people still say it's going east, but... Uh, all reality, I think it's considered going northeast. 
gentlemen we are here now at the TA and we are meeting up with Steve and Hello. Doug Doug yes that's right so how you been Steve not too bad yeah I know we've been talking on Zello for a good while now <laughs> finally nice to meet up with some of my subscribers yeah, nice and to meet you too yeah so I know uh, you guys probably have seen it on jukebox's video already but uh, figured I show you guys as well why not, right? <laughs> so uh, you're going back to work for Schneider soon, eh? Yep. Mm. Second week of April, I'll be going back to Schneider. Okay. So you're saying you're going to be uh, coming to the truck show? Yeah, I'll be at the truck show in Louisville. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'll definitely be there too. That's my plan. Yeah. So, Doug, what kind of work do you do? I work for Ashland Tree Service. Okay, what, what is that? We go around and clean off uh, like trees that are going to fall on electric lines. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. That's nice work. So, uh, we just ordered some food here and we'll get our tummies full, eh? <laughs> That's the plan, anyways. Yeah, he was supposed to go out and go a couple weeks before me. Okay. And everything. And he said he'd let me know how it was and everything. Well, I ended up driving to Kentucky and picking him up and bringing him home <laughs> because <clears throat> he missed two gears in the truck. The trainer went off on him, calling every name in the book and everything, and kicked him out of the truck and arrested him. Well, that's what your training supposed <clears throat> to be like, right? I mean, uh, yeah. if you have no experience, that's the reason why they put you with the trainer. Yeah. And, uh, at least that's what I would think. I mean, you can't expect somebody that just comes out of school to be able to yeah. shift every gear right from the beginning. <clears throat> uh, shifting those gears is not easy at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> It'll yeah. take some time to. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if you drive in a regular truck with a standard. It's yeah. not any. It's not even the same. even for me. I mean, I've been driving now for. Well, <clears throat> just about eight years. I mean, the first year I was in an automatic, but still, I mean, even for me, sometimes I miss a gear. It's yeah. not usually. Right? <coughs> it just happens. Especially if you got a really steep hill. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... Wow. 
Yeah. And that's why I said I'm, I'm hearing all kinds of stories about training, training guys. That's not good. Yeah, the trainer I had when I first started was Schneider. When I went through their main school when they still had it and everything to get my class A. I loved that. Yeah. I mean, as long as you was doing what you were supposed to and wasn't doing anything that wasn't safe, he didn't care what you did. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you could sit there and joke with him all day. Well, oh, that's nice. That's the way it should be, I think, you know. you got to have a sense of humor and you got to... You gotta be able to keep it positive or, or not get mad right yeah. away, you know, like when, when somebody, because that's your job, training these people, yeah. right? So you, you yeah. gotta be able to know that they ain't gonna get it right away the first time. Some, some people yeah. are a little harder to train than others, you know? And he noticed the one thing that I was doing, I didn't even notice that I was doing it. And He'd, talk, he'd tell me about it nicely a few times. You know, mm -hmm. and finally, last time, he was starting to get kind of mad about it. But he noticed that I was going down the road going like this. Oh, yeah. And I didn't notice that I was really doing it. Yeah. And then oh, some trucks, <clears throat> they got a little bit of play in the steering, yeah. too. And then he got to thinking one day. He said, you know what? He said, I bet you I know what you're doing. I said, what's that? He said, to, he said, well, I've had a couple other people that have the same problem. Okay. He was like, when you feel the cab rock one way or the other, you're steering. Yeah. You're trying, you think, you're thinking that the truck's going that way, so you're trying to steer it, yeah. and the truck's actually going straight, and you're, not, you're the one making it go this way. Yeah. <laughs> and after he said that, it quit. Yeah. As soon as I thought about that and everything, yeah. it never happened again. And, <clears throat> The one thing that was so funny with him, we was going down the road, and I looked in my mirror, and there was a car just coming past the back corner of my trailer. And I looked back up, and then when I looked back over again, they were just about the front of my trailer. And then I looked over again, they were right outside my window. And there was this young girl sitting in there looking up at the truck at me. And she was probably 18, 19 years old, something like that. And she just sitting there like this. And I looked back up, and they still didn't go past me, so I looked back down again, and they're still right there beside me, and she's still sitting there staring up at the truck out. Okay, whatever. Go down the road, and they still didn't go by, and, I'm, and I look back down again, and she's still sitting there looking at me, and she didn't, has this big smile on her face. I'm like, I do that. And then I look back up, and I look back down again, and she. Right up over her head. <laughs> and then the person that was driving stepped on it and they took off. <clears throat> oh, wow. Since, <laughs> since the guy was the type that you could joke with all the time, I said, hey, I said, um, if I wreck the truck, don't blame me for it. And he said, why is that? Who the heck am I supposed to blame? I said, the girl over here showing me her tits. <laughs> he hit the button on his seat and all the up out of that seat. Where? And I'm like, uh, that red car going down the road. Like, Damn, man, why the hell didn't you tell me sooner? <clears throat> and I started laughing. I said, well, somebody had to have been watching the road. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and he just started laughing. He said, you're a smart ass. <laughs> Funny. I've never actually had that happen to me. I've seen all kinds of stuff, but that part I haven't seen yet. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not interested in seeing that anyway. Yeah. So I'm married. But yeah, that and the only other thing that ever happened, I wasn't driving a truck, I was driving a bus at the time. Um, I was driving a coach bus for a guy that used to have a business in Meadville. We was taking a trip down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That one had to go fix the bus? Yeah, before we left. That white bus. It was a piece of junk. <laughs> <coughs> but, um, he, he sent two drivers. Okay. Well, the other guy decided that he was going to drive during the day and make me drive through the night. Well, the bus was a piece of junk. And so, didn't have no radio, didn't have nothing. I mean, the TV and stuff worked in it, but everybody, it was the, the group that we took down there was actually from up here and here. It was a senior high girls softball team that were going down to the playoff thing down in Myrtle Beach. And uh, 
I'm driving down the road. We were heading down 95. And I'm just sitting there. Everybody's sleeping, so there ain't no sound on the bus at all. So I'm just... <laughs> falling asleep, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm sitting there and I look and I see this car coming up path, gonna go past us. And I seen that the inside light was on in the car. I look back up and I waited until I got about right beside me and I looked down and, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the inside light was on in the car. But, <laughs> yeah? Well, yeah, that's something I have seen. <laughs> yeah. But one person driving and two people in the back seat. <clears throat> Oh no, I've seen a lady was sitting in the passenger seat and the guy was driving and she was leaning over and doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not as bad as my buddy had one time. He, he said he had a guy drive up beside him and had his packer out. And was <laughs> 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 And he stayed beside him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. clears throat> so that's something I don't ever want to see. <laughs> he said he finally he finally slammed on his brakes and he pulled over. He said I didn't, I didn't want to see that no more. <laughs> <clears throat> kinds of things happening on the road all the time. My one friend, well, he's not my friend anymore, but one kid that me and him used to be friends with, way back in grade school, he went with me when I was with Schneider in 09. <clears throat> and he heard somebody talking about block lizards. Oh, yeah. And he had no clue what the heck it was. <laughs> he thought it was just yeah. what it said. <clears throat> And he asked me about it, and I was like, do you really know what lot lizards are? <laughs> and he said, well, they're some kind of lizard, aren't they? And then, no. <laughs> and so I told him what it was and everything. And he was the kind of person that it was just fun to joke around with. And, pick up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he knew he wasn't doing it to be me. So that made it even more fun. Well, yeah. Well, he's up in the top bunk, and I'm down on mine, laying there, we're watching TV. And I just get this smart idea. I put my hand up behind my head on the side of the truck. And he put his head down over, he said, what was that? He's probably just a lot of dropping on it. <clears throat> so he gets down out of the bunk and goes up and looks out the blinds and doesn't see nobody. There ain't nobody out there. Probably took too long to get to the door. Oh. So he gets back up, and I'm like, I was only going to do it once, but it was too funny too the fun. first time I had <laughs> to do it again. <laughs> so about five minutes later, I did it again, and he, <clears throat> he hurried up. He goes up, and he comes back down and goes up and looks, and I said, damn, there still ain't nobody up there. I said, well, you still must not have got up there fast enough. <laughs> so he gets back up there, and I'm like, I got to do it. So I did it again, and he come off that top bunk so fast the damn he went on his face on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and he up there and still didn't see nobody, and he turned around. I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was, I, was I, I was losing it. And he said, what's so funny? I said, does this sound familiar? Mm -hmm. And I hit the side of the truck and said, oops. <laughs> he said, that was you the whole time, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> did to him. We pulled into this one rest area. It didn't have no bathrooms or nothing. It was just for truck parking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> he's sitting there and all of a sudden he goes, yes. get out. Yeah. He gets out and then he comes back over and opens my door and he's like, how the hell am I doing this? Like, There's a bunch of other people out there. Well, I guess get up behind, between the cab well, and the yeah. bed there and piss down between the frame. Okay. Well, I sat there and looked in my mirror and watched him get up on there, and I sat there and went, reached out and started the truck. Put it in gear, move forward about five feet and shut back off. <laughs> get out, he's standing there, that railing across the back of the cab. He's standing there, both hands on that like this, and his pants are down around his ankles. And <laughs> I looked at him and was like, what in the hell are you doing? He said, well, I, I thought you was going to take off down the damn road. <laughs> so I had to be smart of it. 
No, I ain't got enough time to get to the truck stop down the road, or I would have. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's all kinds of funs all the time. Yeah, <clears throat> and my grandma went with me <coughs> back in 07. <clears throat> the only reason I left Schneider in 07 when I did was because uh, my grandpa was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Oh, okay. And him and my grandma are the ones who raised me. And I knew my mom. I spent time with her all the time and stuff like that. But, uh, when I was born, she was young enough that she didn't think that she could really take care of me. And she figured she'd rather have me be with Grandma and Grandpa than oh, yeah. just be with some stranger yeah, yeah. and everything. And since he was diagnosed with that, I, come, I, I left because I didn't want to be gone and have something happen. <clears throat> and, uh, but I was running dedicated for Dollar General in 07. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody that found out that I'd signed on for that account, they said, you're going to hate it. Well, yeah. I did. Yeah. I hated that account. Yeah, because you get so bored out of that, right? and you're always running the same thing. And well, the bad part, the, what gave me the problem was, <clears throat> the driving part, I didn't have a problem. It's just that I wasn't fast enough to get the stuff unloaded because I had to unload everything by hand oh, wow. at every store. I wasn't oh, fast no. enough to get that stuff off the trailer and get going again to make my other stops on time. So I'd do one stop and I'd get there on time and then the whole rest of my day I was late. Yeah, yeah you were late, yeah. And after Grandpa passed away in 09, I went right back on the road with Schneider. And <clears throat> at the time they still had that account, but they don't have Dollar General anymore. Um, the recruiter that I talked to said that she's seen on my file that I used to drive for Dollar General. I said, yeah. She said, well, there's an opening on that account. Do you want that? I was like, nope. Dude. <laughs> she said, well, the only other option that we have right now is over the road. Ruben. Thank you. You're very welcome. Can we cheeseburger wrap for you? Can I have the ball, toast, and your tomato Is there anything else I can get for you guys right now? Yeah, give me more coffee, and if you have peanut butter. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway. I think we're all set. Well, guys, we are getting ready to have something to eat. You guys got your meal too, eh? Yeah. yeah, so let's have a bite to eat and we'll be right back. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to say goodbye to these fellas. See yes. Later. Have a good night. Yes, you too, Steve. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, meeting up with me over here. Uh, had a good dinner, had a good time. Appreciate some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a good dinner and had a good talk. It was a very nice company. I know Steve is subscribed. I don't know if he is, but he will be soon, right? <laughs> yep. That's oh, the goal then. Do it. <laughs> yeah, well. Doesn't really matter if you subscribe any of us. What matters is if you watch the video. That's what really matters. That's what counts. <laughs> but any of us, we'll get out of here. We gotta get to sleep and get out of here early in the morning. So uh we'll see you guys later. behind me that day is gonna come